Hello, good afternoon. Blessed day to everybody. How y'all doing today? Sending y'all lots of love. Peace vibes. Positive vibes. Healing vibes. All those things. Excuse me, y'all. Had a little issue. Let's see if we can get a better view. All right. Yeah, that sits a little better for me. Ah, just perfectly me. Today is beautiful. I'm so grateful for that. I'm hoping everybody's having a beautiful day. If not, try to find the small pieces of beauty and blessings in the day, right? Even if it's, oh gosh, I'm not, I don't have to go through traffic because I work from home today. Even if that's the only thing, <laughs> let's just praise the Lord for that, right? Let's just thank most high for that, right? All right, so this is the you versus them reading. How this works is I am connecting to spirit to see what you and your person have to say to one another. This is an overall collective reading. So regardless of sign, you this could be your reading, okay? You'll be able to discern which side of the tracks is yours dependent on the storyline that spirit gives me. So either your thoughts, your actions, your wants, your needs are on the left or they're on the right. And again, you'll decide that by the storyline that spirit is giving me. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it without further ado, ladies and gents. Give me one moment. Just need to move something around. All right. All right. So let's get started. Let's get started with the energy that is on the left. Um, I am getting the song. Do 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 do. What is that song? What is that song, y'all? If you know it, put it in the comments for me because I can't remember it. Leave me. What is? It's from Soul Food. If you happen to know, when the the stank ass cousin was uh <laughs> dancing. Not I ain't mad at you. Mm -mm. I know I know the Tupac. I ain't mad at you. This is um, from Soul Food. Someone like also used that same beat, right? But I, I can I love me some Tupac, so you know, bless up to Tupac. But moving forward, on the left side, I don't know why I want to say "Don't Leave Me," but I know that's not the song. I don't think that's the way that song um, starts out. "Don't Leave Me" by Black Street. All right, on the left side. We have, is it Black Street? Thank y'all. Thank you, Luna. Um, revolution, sorcery. Oh, Lord. Is that what we're starting with? <laughs> we're going to start out. Don't leave me, girl. Okay. Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. Why are we starting out with sorcery and revolution on the left side? Um, um, what's that song by Beyonce? Take my breath away. Someone may have taken someone's breath away. I know there's an inhaler here, right? But I really feel like someone... Lose my breath. That's what it is. Make me lose my breath. Okay. Celebration. Enchantment. So along with the sorcery, there's enchantment. Give me another card here for the left side, spirit. Oh, or two. Wisdom with the witch doctor. What the? <laughs> I, I, uh, this was not. This wasn't the energy I thought I was coming into, y'all. So let's just go on the ride. Keep all fingers and toes inside the ride. And we'll see what spirit brings to us today. Not the day in balance with the chaos. Oh, shit. And conjuring. I'm done. I'm done. I don't even want to be here no more. <laughs> Can we start all over, y'all? Do y'all see these cards? Is it just me? Because I'm already knowing, obviously, intuitively what spirit got going on. But I just want y'all to see the lineup of this shit. So if you think that someone's trying to woo you, someone's trying to put a... I don't even want to say a curse, a spell. Some of y'all don't deal in, in magic or dark magic or black magic. This person could just be trying to woo you, right? Making making things seem like they're better than they are, right? Making This, this person might be making it seem like they've grown, they're healthy for you. They're right for you now. They might be throwing things in your face. They might want to take you out to dinner. They might be super nice out of nowhere, right? You, Your guards, some of y'all, your guards is down for this person. You can't understand why. You haven't cussed them out like you have the last 16 times. You can't understand why. 
It's like, what the fuck is going on? Why do I feel so open and loving to something? And I got to be honest, some people are out there messing around in black magic. Like I said, I'm going to keep all these words here until I get out this intuitive message. Someone thinks that they're conjuring up some type of shit to balance back out the fact of you coming back into their life. They think they're a strong witch doctor trying to enchant some type of sorcery back over you, right? Someone thinks that they have the same, okay, we got it. I got it now. Make sure you know which part of the story is yours, okay? Some of y'all do know that your person would be open to black magic and things of that nature because they want to know how to manifest. So they think that they have some type of abilities. Others of you, you know your person is gifted. You know your person's gifted. They have now, I feel like, been removed from the list. They're no longer part of VIP. They can no longer use their gifts because they've been using it against people. And they're still trying to use their gifts. Others... They have nothing to do with magic and tarot and all that. They are just sending out vibes of wanting you to put your guards down so that they can come back into your life. <sighs> the bottom of the deck is the restoration. At the end of the day, this person will have to balance that shit out. Healing is coming for you at the same time. Also, your spirit guides, ancestors, and loved ones have been watching over you. This person better stop fucking around before they transcend. And I don't think they're going to like this is as you can see, what is that? The infinity symbol, right? Whatever you send out comes back for you. So if someone's sending out some black shit, they better stop fucking around before they be picking out their own headstone. Just putting it out there. This might not even be love and romance. This might be someone's third party. So if you know that your person broke up with their other for, with the third party, this might be the third party. What the? Yeah, we're going to make this quick. Because I ain't got time for this. I think this might be someone's third party trying to do spell work so that y'all don't come back into union. I think someone's third party is really upset because I just got the thought of the spaghetti again. If you know about the spaghetti, then you know. What's going on on the right side? Create. Wow, this is some crazy shit. I love you, future love, future love letter, right? Gratitude. Hmm. Vision. One more card here, spirit. I just, I don't, I don't know who's playing around in black magic, but they better cut this shit out. Hi, I don't know what this is behind here, but you're moving on to your highest self, my love, whoever's on the right side. And you're getting ready to find your community, your soul tribe, things of that nature. So if you feel, you know, that you more resonate with people who carry crystals and use sage and Palo Santo and connecting to spirits, well, baby, go ahead and get into your community so that you can continue to connect to your highest self. Those on the right side are also seeing visions of someone possibly conjuring up spirits. Like maybe when you go to sleep, it's you can see people like either standing around you or sending you bad juju or you just have this feeling that someone's trying to pray on over your life something like that not in a good way joy and then you got joy and light so wherever this fits it could be a lover it could be a, a old job that you left it could be a family friend something like that it could be your fucking co-workers for those that this resonate with, let me get a little deeper into this message so that we can kind of clarify. I don't think this is love. Yeah, someone smiles. I'm hearing smile all in your face all the time. Want to take your place, backstabber that you've already moved away from. If you've changed a job because it was toxic, you've cut toxic friends out, things like that. They could just be speaking against you, right? They could be spreading lies and rumors. I feel like this person may be someone that you used to hang with in some way to the point where like they would know if you take medications like they would know they would know if you've been diagnosed with something i feel like this person is going by old shit like oh yeah i heard that they got such and such a disease and i hope it i hope their cancer comes back or like what the f i'm okay yeah we're gonna make this quick i don't know who i'm dialing into but we're going to go ahead and just make this quick because this is some crazy shit. It's almost like someone is trying to use the information that they know about you to either make you sick, make you second guess your plans, make you open up to the wrong people. It's like someone wants to try to get you back in a cycle of second guessing 
whether or not what you're doing is because what you're doing is leading you to joy and light. It's leading you on to to a better life. This person wants you to second guess like you used to second guess. Overthink like you used to overthink. Not trust anybody. Stay to yourself. I'm keep hearing. See, I told you, you can't be around people like that because they ain't going to do nothing. But all along, this is the person causing the fucking drama. Make sure y'all are looking at y'all soul tribes. Real talk. There are some snakes around. And I don't make it up. These cards came out. Back to back, just like this, sorcery, enchantment, the witch doctor, chaos, and then conjuring. Somebody don't mean you no well, don't mean you good. Make sure y'all checking y'all camp. If And this sometimes somebody's telling me like, you might have told one person something. One person, you trusted one person with something and next thing you know, six people know. So how do six people know if you only trusted that with that one person? That's the way you might know. And it might be something small, like, oh, yeah, you know, I played hooky from work the other day because I just needed a day. Next thing you know, four people, oh, I heard about you playing hooky. You know, it's like, that's childish as fuck. But yet, now you know there's a leaky, there's a leaky hole somewhere in that boat. Somebody who probably really does love you. Somebody who wants you to be their person. Some of y'all have friends that are same-sex friends that know that you would never give them that opportunity, but they want you so bad. And if they can't have you, they don't want anyone else with you. If this is not you, it could be your ex, your soulmate, your twin flame, someone who you're not with anymore. Their friend, they might have a friend or they might have someone who loves them, loves them, loves them. And they're like, they're, they're girlfriends, they're friend friends, you know, like golden girls, girlfriends, or they might be just bros, like they might just be the homie, but this homie been causing chaos between you and this person because they really love your person. They're attracted, they want your person, tower moment. Because this person did not choose wisely trying to conjure up so, some dark shit. And again, if you're not a part of like a dark community and y'all don't, my friends don't be sitting around doing no shit like this, it could be as simple as them just spreading rumors and lies. Oh, no, I seen them down there talking to so-and-so. Oh, I heard that so-and-so was hitting that now. I heard they've been running around with yada, 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 keeping your person all in their head about whether or not you a good look. Oh, this is crazy. I'm going to get three more cards on the left, moving to the right, and I got to close this out because this ain't, this, this, this ain't for crown chakra. Someone might, again, someone has been having you all in your head. I feel like that's been the number one thing that they've been ta trying to tap into is to keep your mind foggy, keep you with a bunch of shit to do, like a to-do list all the time. It feels like you're not getting nothing done, like you're not progressing, like the decisions that you've, like that's what this person has been trying to mess with your head and or an ex-lover's head. They've been trying to tap into your crown chakra like no, none other. Prior to your crown chakra... So prior to headaches, feeling foggy headed, feeling confused, second guessing yourself, if that's your current energy right now, prior to that, they were probably what I feel is going towards your sacral. Not like you always like nervous or unsure or unsure of your discernment, feeling nauseated out of, out of nowhere, right? Type of energy. Um, not feeling confident in the way that you speak to people or the way that you present yourself at work or with other lovers, things like that. I'm hearing they tried to tap into your root chakra, but spirit be damned if if they mess up your new blessing or new beginning. OK. This is people got to you got to find something to do, baby. I mean, blow bubbles, hopscotch, skip rocks, play some marbles. I mean, there's so many things you could be feed the birds, go for a walk. So many things you. This person, I'm telling you, sacrifice. This whole left side is just a fucking mess. This person, they either wanted, they wanted your lover to sacrifice you or they wanted to sacrifice you. I'm also hearing they wanted you to lose your mind or lose your temper so that your person looked at you as less than or as a, as a you know, a bad choice. And then they were going to come in and save the day. Like, that's how I feel. Like, this person was going to, I don't know. They were hoping that the per. I feel like the, this, whoever this is behind this dark shit, 
was hoping that you on the right would eventually lose your shit and like cuss them out, be done with them, do something or say something that would forever cut the tie. And I don't think that really happened. I feel like there's a level of respect, if nothing else, on this right side that was given. It's like, I'm going to leave you, but I'm not going to put myself in a situation where the self-respect, dis, I'm sorry, I'm not going to disrespect myself by showing my ass out here. I'm going to pack your things and I'm going to let you leave. It was like that. But this person was really hoping that you were going to like sever all ties and be all upset and resentful and sad and depressed. They thought they were really hoping that they were going to break you. This person might need to rest and rejuvenate. If not, they may conjure up shit in the woods. If you know this person to be in the woods a lot or in a dark basement, an area that is woodsy. It could even be the backyard. This person may actually connect with someone and it could be someone across seas who they wanted to do some dark magic to you. Whoever this person is, if they did hire someone, this person already kind of knows that they're in for it as well. Whoever they connect to, their spirit guides have already told them that it's it's almost like that that music. Have y'all ever seen um, Princess and the Frog where they start to come for the the, the shadow man? The do, 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 like that, that music is going on. Somebody about that. Y'all keep fucking around. That ain't nothing but the truth. Ace of Swords, that ain't nothing but the truth. Y'all keep fucking around with this right there. Whatever these little, it's, this is exactly what's going on. These men in the back coming to take your ass and, and I'm hearing you got to pay the piper. So someone must have been playing around with something. Playing around with that dark magic. You moving on to a new beginning. Somebody playing around with some dark magic. Or they could be late. I just heard laying with the enemy. Sleeping with the enemy. Yeah, okay. Because I'm not going to be here too much longer. This is some crazy shit. I don't even know if I'm going to put this on YouTube. What's going on on the right side? Y'all know me. I don't be channeling shit like this. Shit like this don't be going on. And my candle ain't doing nothing but jumping this entire damn time. It's just, oh, now it's now it's simple. Now it's quiet on your side, huh? This damn candle been sitting over here popping and jumping like nobody's business. It's just, I, I can't. What's going on on the right side? Give me true jumpers, please, spirit. Oh, God. I seen it, so I can't let it go. Empress. Birthing a new beginning, whether you're a male or a female. I, I'm, 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 I'm speechless. It takes a lot for, to make me speechless. Material and spiritual prosperity also on the right side. I'm hearing a new dawn and a new day. This is just nutty to me. Who does all that? Give me another one for the right side spirit. Movement choices and decisions. Moving forward with your life. I have the emperor card. So you're getting ready to find truth. Okay, truth and stability with a new person. So this might have something to do with love. If it don't have to do with love, this could have to do with someone, like I said, a mother figure, father figure. It could be one of their mother or father figures. Either way, y'all are moving on to a, a beautiful beginning. And you're going to find your soulmate. Your actual real and soulmate, not whatever this dark person that thinks whatever the hell. The person, <laughs> someone waiting in the shadows, but you're strong enough to, to go against whatever this bullshit is that's coming your way. Some of y'all don't even know all this is going on behind the scenes because your spirit team is keeping you. Your spirit team and your ancestors. So if you've out of nowhere just started reminiscing about your grandparents, your mom, your dad that have passed on and you can just feel them like protecting you. If you've been rehashing any um, accidents that you've been in and you're like, that wasn't nobody but God. Or I know my mom saved me from that. Or I know my aunt saved me from that or whatever that is. Grandparents, they're hiding you and shielding you from this shit too. Because this is crazy. I'm also hearing that somebody did something they can't come back from. And I have a lot of different things going on. Someone may have actually got caught up with a, a, a shitload of drugs. Somebody might have got caught up in some type of murder case. Um, someone may have got caught up in a same sex situation. There's a lot of reasons I feel like this person over here got going on of why they can't just be. This is what I was. Didn't I say in your stomach, your sacral, this is what they were attacking before. Trying to keep you like feeling less than. 
trying to make it seem like you weren't worthy of anything, trying to second guess your confidence in things. But you saw the light. You can rejoice now, my loves. That emotional loss and all that in the past that this person was trying to put on you, keeping you trapped in fear, you were spiritually strong enough to keep moving forward. Passion's going to ignite for a new soulmate. Just have patience as your new beginning unfolds. Like I said, that person gets conflict and defeat. I'm, I'm just going to pull something from spirit and get out of here because this here, I don't know who this is right here, but um, I don't play those games and I just want to put that out there and that's it. So let me pull something. I'm going to just pull right from um, Archangel Michael. Don't come in here with that bullshit. But I'm going to just say that and let it go. Because whoever this is over here needs G. They all need help. Y'all need help. And I really hope y'all get help. Because if it's not the person that you know, they've given money to someone to do this shit. And that's the sad part. That's the sad part. And I feel like they don't even know what the person... Some of them don't even know what this witch doctor was going to do. It was just like, just do something to keep them. And once this witch doctor, I feel like some of these witch doctors, quote unquote, witch doctors found out that you were a God's child. You were anointed. They tried to turn that shit up. And listen, <laughs> you send that type of stuff out there. You better be ready for what's coming back at you. That's all I got to say about that. Get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine. So take back your power, especially whoever you are over here. You, you need to get up out that darkness. You on the right. I feel like you've already taken your power back. That's why you don't even know or feel probably like the effects of what this person is trying to do. Oh, sweet Jesus. Great day in the morning, as my grandmother would say. All is perfect timing. This is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. And have no fear. Fear is a trap, <laughs> is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. And no, it's not yet time. This is not the divine time to take action. But please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching, but have no fear because the perfect timing is approaching. As you regain your, your strength back. So keep your heart open. Like I said, there is a new match coming for y'all. Stop judging yourself and let the situation heal you. I just, I don't know. I don't know what this is. And I don't know who walking around doing black magic, but may God have mercy on your soul. On your soul. On your soul. On your soul. I, I'm going to pull one other card from the angels deck and I got to get out of here, y'all, because this is just... I don't know. I don't know who's walking around with dark magic. I don't. But baby. Oh, all right. Anything else you have to say about this message? I'm hot as hell, too. Somebody going to be hot in hell. They keep playing. I'm just hearing Nelly. It's getting hot in here. And if you've seen that recent Nelly video, he looked like he's taken over by a damn demon. I don't know if y'all seen that. If not, Google it. Eyes rolling in the back of his head and shit. It's crazy. What else do you have to say, if anything, spirit? Heart chakra and fresh air. Love is, <laughs> love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance and fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home. Because there is a change There is a change in direction, so focus on service and enjoy the ride. Some of y'all may be planning some type of vacation. And if you are, I feel like there's some type of um, blessing that you're going to get. Like out of nowhere, you're the hundredth person in the restaurant. You get free meal for you and your people. 
Um, you run into someone who ends up giving you like a free VIP um, in a club. I feel like some type of something's going to come like an extra perk. If it's already all inclusive, they end up like giving you a suite because it's your birthday and they're having some type of special, something like that. And there goes that perfect timing. Again, I know we've seen that card that said not right now, but don't worry about it because it's all in perfect time and we have it again. And right behind that is a child. So if someone's wondering about getting married, having a child, having a family, don't worry. Whatever black magic, dark magic is trying to come around you. Wow. It's already being protected and healed and the change is coming. I got to go, y'all. I know y'all probably ain't used to auntie being like this, but I got to sage this, this mother down because I'll be damned. Go play, go play with your kids. Don't play with auntie. Um, so if y'all do feel like someone dark is around you, I do feel like that is going on. Even if they're just speaking negatively about you, they could have paid someone, but either way, you may end up hearing some really bad stuff about somebody sometime soon. And that should give you a clue to whether or not that person had any dealings with what's going on here. So just to go over it again, I have some type of really big drug bust, some type of fraud, like money laundering or some shit. Someone could have some type of murder rap or be a part of the murder, even if they were just driving the getaway car. Someone may be doing some type of, um, I don't even know how you do real estate fraud, but real estate fraud is another one that I just got. And someone's just been sending you bad juju just because they don't want you to go anywhere. So whatever it is, some of them may end up in obituaries. Other than may end up in some type of having a long rap sheet. I don't know, but there you have it. I love y'all. Take care of yourselves, say your prayers, do your spiritual bath, say, do your sage, your Palo Santo, whatever it is that you know that you feel protected. I'm going to need all of y'all and go ahead and do that right now. I already got my white light, my candle, my white candle lit. Y'all already know I'm about to do some sage and send y'all some protection energy. Because again, auntie don't play that shit. That is not, this is not the channel for that dark nastiness. Mm -mm, absolutely not. So sending y'all peace. A whole lot of protection, um, peace, protection, paradise vibes, and um, y'all just stay, y'all stay protected, all right? Auntie loves y'all. Take care of yourselves and your soul. Salt bath, sage, palo santo. Until I speak to you again, take care of yourself and your soul. Namaste.